Yeah. Okay, it's uh, Tuesday. Yes. It's Tuesday. Tuesday, May 10th. And um, woke up late. Just getting breakfast now or lunch. I just got a little turkey and other stuff sandwich. And a coffee. And also a little apple cake. Apple cake thing. And Jack got a pretzel. Um, we'll probably get something else to eat after this. Maybe somewhere, I don't know. And then we're gonna go to actually check out the cathedral too. So we went to the, um, to the what's it called? To the, the ticket station, right? And the, oh, that's so loud. And the guy said we didn't need to book anything, so we'll be good, hopefully. And now to check out the cathedral in its full glory. We go inside, show you that, and uh, climb to the top as well. Apparently it's a long climb, so prepare your legs, Jack. But I'm excited for it. It's gonna be good. As Jack was just saying, it is ridiculous how detailed this is. What did you say, Jack? I said you could stand here for like an hour and just admire all the Look detail. No, but seriously though. <laughs> you probably could. Yeah, I mean, every time, every time that I look up, I just see something new. There's carvings there, statues. I don't know, are those popes maybe? Are they saints? Um, I think some angels somewhere too. It's just incredible. So yeah, we're gonna head inside now. Yeah, maybe the apostle. That's good guess, Jack. Good guess. This is just stunning. This stained glass looks a lot older than what I showed earlier. through looking up at the stained glass and the organ and the sculptures um, all the carvings on the wall and I didn't even didn't even notice the ground this is all mosaic through here tiles it's 1371 trapped in there with his dogs we're down in the crypts I want to see what's in there Instead of a, a vampire movie. Oh my gosh. A lot of um, cardinals and archbishops of Cologne are buried, buried down here. Bell in the middle there weighs 24,000 kilograms. Almost as much as Finn. Thanks for the commentary, <laughs> Jack. Well, we did the we did the cathedral climb. It was fantastic. Unfortunately, uh, no filming for uh, for public use, only for private use. So, not gonna get any views from up the, up at the top. But I'll tell you this: it was stunning. Here's one more look of the cathedral. For some reason, I feel like this is the best shot I've, have, I've had of it yet. It really is something else. So next, um, we're gonna head back to uh, the place we were at yesterday, uh, St. Peter Brau House. For some meats. Yeah, for that, the, the raw meat, the steak tartare. It was fantastic, so probably just gonna get one of those again. And it was like three euros, th th 350 or something. So go back there, get a beer, and then walk around and see what else we can see. I don't know about going to that uh, that brow house. 
I'm not gonna turn the uh, camera around that right now because I'm literally salivating. Holy crap. So good. Because it was so good the first time. We had to. We had to. And for four euros, it's a steal. Now it's the evening. Got a couple of polsh uh, from the local kiosk. It's uh, These are like a euro 40 each, so pretty good. Pretty big. Yeah, they're, if you can see. And it's open carry. Uh, well, open, t open carry is tolerated, not technically legal, but we've seen so many people just walking around town drinking beers, sitting by the side of the, the river drinking beers. I'm not too concerned about it. So I think we'll, uh, I think we'll be fine. So we're, um, we're ma making our way downtown. Yep, faces pass, and we're homebound. Now we're going uh, to some park. I think it's called Hiroshima Nagasaki Park. And near there, there seems to be a, like a lot of uh, uh, a lot of places to eat. Uh, maybe some like little shops. Maybe we'll get a, a donor kebab, maybe we'll get a burger. Uh, we'll have to see. Stay tuned to find out. Looks like it's uh, remnants of an old city wall. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Maybe there's a clue. If only I could read German. Got our food. Jack got a currywurst and fries. I got a donor kebab. But apparently that's now a German specialty. And it looks it looks really good. So we're gonna try that out. But uh, first we're gonna walk across this bridge and get another beer at another kiosk and then head off into the park. Got our food. A little donor kebab. Some currywurst. And fries. And then a beer. Um, we we're gonna go to this kiosk and it was closed. So we ended up getting a beer from this uh, little shop here. This little Frank Long hot dog schmied. And instead of a euro 40 per beer, it was four euros per beer. So big mistake there. Uh, thank you for that, Jack. I'll get the next couple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you're so small. Catch up there, catch up. Yeah, they'd be good with some ketchup. We've hit the jackpot, the wildlife jackpot. Look at them all. They're on the move. Beep. Yeah, they're on a mission. They got places to be. Okay, let's let's go. Speaking of wildlife jackpot, got a crane here too. This is what I feel like Canada is missing, okay? We have this park here, people playing basketball, people having beers, picnics, uh, barbecues. It just doesn't really happen that much. I don't know why, maybe, I think it's because it isn't totally legal in Canada, but like, why not? I think it's just, it should be encouraged for people to come out and have a good time like this. Like, why have green spaces when you can't use them to their fullest potential, right? And People here really are taking advantage of that. And maybe I'm gonna move to Germany <laughs> or the EU in general. I, I like it a lot. I've been I've been whining to Jack about it for the last 10 minutes. So okay, we're almost back to the hostel. Uh, it's like nine o'clock. We're gonna call it a uh, call tonight. Maybe watch a movie, get to bed, and try and be up earlier tomorrow morning. <laughs> the rest of the video will be from tomorrow. All right. Yeah, the camps again. It's the next morning. We got me uh, a sandwich with meat and cheese and eggs on it. I don't know what kind of meat it is, but it looks good. Another one of these apple strudel thingies. It was so good. Um, uh, coffee. Jack got a cheese pretzel, a small sandwich, and a hot chocolate. And it looks really good. We eat this. Probably go back and do laundry ASAP because uh, I'm out of clothes. Um, and then do a little walk around, maybe hop on a boat to the Rhine River, um, maybe go to the Chocolate Museum. Just gonna play it by ear a little bit. We'll have to see. Okay, we're at the Chocolate Museum and got our tickets, 1350 entrance. And here it is. Oh, yes, please. Awesome, thank you. 
it comes with a free chocolate too. Very nice. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream? <gasps> Goated flavor. Alrighty. I guess we're gonna work our way through and uh, see what there is to see here. Let's grab a guide. In English too. Perfect. Into the traffic house. So the chocolates get formed right here, go through the chiller, and then they come out right there. It's explaining. They knock those pieces of chocolate onto that other conveyor belt, and then they, uh, there they are. Oh, go through there. Soon, soon to be consumed by us, hopefully. So we press this button. To grab you a chocolate, and there it is. Chicken. How does it taste? <laughs> Here they got a chocolate fountain. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Another. <laughs> Apparently, you can make your own chocolate bar. So, sir, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. <laughs> Can I just dunk my head in there? <laughs> it said the tour should take us an hour and a half. Uh, we're not leaving. I don't think so. We got small molds. We got bigger molds. We got biggest mold. Even more molds. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. One sec, watch out, watch out. These ones are cool. Mom and Dad, I want a chocolate elephant the size of my head for Christmas next year. Okay? Thanks. Yeah. So the uh, personalized chocolate bars are six euros and takes 45 minutes. And six euros, I understand paying that for a uh, your own chocolate bar. Uh, and you can choose your own ingredients and stuff like that, but 45 minutes, I don't really feel like waiting around for that. Um, but here's a little uh, sneak peek on how it's done. I feel like they should have this at the beginning of the tour. You know, you show up, you place your order for your chocolate bar, and then by the time that your tour is done, you can just pick it up. That's a good idea. Yeah, but I don't, I don't really feel like waiting around for another 45 minutes. We'll probably be out of here pretty so, pretty short. Mm -hmm. And a silver. Oh, this one's cool. Need to get some of those next time I'm making hot chocolate at home. Right. I kind of like the designs of these better than modern ones. After a tour of the chocolate factory, we gotta get an ice chocolate. Basically, a big cold chocolate drink with ice cream in it. Because I saw a few people drinking it and it looked really good. So we get one of those and then we're gonna head all the way over there. Now, there's one bridge, two bridge, three bridges. You can't see the third one from here, but over there, there's a cable car. So we're gonna walk all the way over there, probably take like an hour, <laughs> and uh, take the cable car, which I think will be fun. So that's the plan after we get this. Oh, oh my lordy lord. <laughs> it, looks, <Love> it. <laughs> it looks so good. <sighs> we made it, and it is hot as hell in this. <laughs> Tiny capsule. Here, I put your water in there. Oh, thanks. We even got a little lifeline just in case. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Right, Jack? Yeah. Hopefully, it does come to that. It is a sauna in here. Yeah, it's, I'm, uh, I'm cooking. I'm cooking. But uh, it's worth it. Uh, and it'll save us a good 45 minute walk, too. Uh, part of the way back. So, Woo. we're next. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> It can be a little scary too. Ooh. Okay, this is actually kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie. 
There's a pool right there. A pool? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. So oh. oh my god. Wait, take his back. Damn, what a view. Who would have thought that the cable car would give us the best view? Right, Almost there. Might not make it. Yeah, we might uh, just cook. It is so hot in here. Yeah. It's Thursday, and we're heading to Switzerland. And we're running six minutes late, thanks to someone who decided to take a really long shower. It wasn't Jack, it was me. Um, so yeah, we're running a little bit late, uh, not the end of the world. I planned this with plenty of time, just in case one of us was taking a long shower or something. So we'll get to the station with, uh, I think 10 or 15 minutes uh, to spare. Our train leaves at 9.17, that's currently like 8.40. So we don't have much of a walk. We got some more construction going on here. One last look at the cathedral. Absolutely beautiful. And then we're on our way to Interlaken, Switzerland. And soon we'll have views of the Alps too. Well, that's gonna be even better. So the train that we're supposed to take was delayed by about two hours, uh, an hour 50. So we end up having other train. Um, save us a lot of time. We're gonna have to switch in Basel, Switzerland. And hopefully we can find a train. I don't think it'll be a problem, but I guess we'll have to see. Oh, that's, oh, that's gorgeous. No pun intended, because we're passing over a gorge. Switzerland, country number six, and it's already absolutely stunning. You're gonna hear this a lot, but uh, country number five, country number six. I'm counting Belgium because we did stop there, <laughs> yeah, for, for an hour. Anyways, Jack actually put it really well on the train, and unfortunately, I didn't get it on video. But he said that this is the first time he's kind of looked out the window of the train and said, like, oh, yeah, we're actually in Europe. and. Obviously, we have been in Europe this whole time. We've seen the Eiffel Tower. We've seen Big Ben. We've been to, we've seen the Cologne Cathedral. Uh, we went to Amsterdam. So we've seen a lot of iconic places, iconic cities, but this is like something else. All the cities, they all have one thing in common. It, it all, it, although it doesn't feel like North America, it's still like relatively normal. Okay, yeah, we've seen cities before, you know. Bombers Hostel, dead ahead. Right across the street from crepes. Oh, that's dangerous. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, and a little Thai place too. It's literally, it's called Little Thai. <laughs> this hostel is fantastic. Take a look. We got Jack. We got Ooh. no one in the room right, right now, so I can do a quick little tour. We got a mirror. Well, we made it. Already seeing some people gliding up there. Hang gliding, paragliding, something like that. I gotta say, this hostel, I'm sorry, St. Christopher's, you are fantastic. But uh, this place, it just has a, such a great vibe to it. So many friendly people already. Um, it's great, and not, not just the hostel, but um, this, whole, this whole town. It's beautiful. It's like maybe 75 Fahrenheit, I don't know, 20-ish, 22. No, more like 25, I guess, uh, Celsius. A little sunny, a little overcast too. Perfect weather, so we're gonna go. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna go to the lake and take a dip in the lake. The lake is just over there too. We're almost there. Uh, 
I don't think I'm ever leaving. We're not going to Rome, south of France, Barcelona. Don't need any of that stuff. This place, this is where it's at. All right, all right, this water is really cold, but I'm gonna try it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Man, you're on camera, you cannot get out anymore. Yeah. <laughs> five minutes, yeah, bravo. Five, five <laughs> minutes? <laughs> that was nice. Oh, it feels good though, it does. You're yeah, right. you have to stay longer than one minute. Oh, oh God, yeah, okay, you have okay, to stay be longer than one minute. My next challenge. <laughs> come on, Jack, come on, come on, you got it. Yeah, see how we relaxed he is. Oh, yeah, he's much more relaxed than I was. Now it's important. You see, you you notice how he breathes. He breathes more relaxed. That's very that's very crucial. Yeah. Because otherwise you you get so stressed. Okay, uh, I gotta try it again then. I gotta try it again. Sir. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Well, you have to probably cut out the the, the sound. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll cut some of it out. But oh, that was awesome. Especially also, especially also because when you come out, there's no more sun. That's yeah, that's true. You coming in? You going in? Not again. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow though. Uh, I'll be getting this. Here we are. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Let's go! GoPro time. Nice. <laughs> We're in, in, in interlocking, playing uh, a bunch of uh, beer pong games and stuff like that. It, it gets really Some difficult. Vine. It gets really di difficult Absolutely. to actually talk. On camera, but totally. you know, I don't know if it's a video in. or not. Leave that in. Maybe I will. No, Maybe leave I will. it in. So like, yeah, keep, keep it authentic. Yeah, yeah. Experience. Exactly, exactly. Whenever so it's authentic, it's like authenticity is what This is, is interlocking, and interlocking is authentic. It is. Hello for the future. I am currently in Rome right now, editing the video that you just watched, and I forgot to sign out. Uh, turns out when you're out drinking with some new friends, uh, you put the GoPro away and then just don't even think about signing out for the end of the video or anything like that. So this is the end of that video. Next one is going to be all of our time in Interlock. I think encompassing three days. And then after that, it'll be Journey to Rome and Rome Day 1 and 2.